Alrighty, what's happening guys? Welcome to part three in the series on how to use IBM personality insights to create better customer profiles. So in the last video, what we did is we created a customer profile for none other than Mr. Warren Buffett. And we looked at the different parts of the profile that are returned by the service. So what we got back are the big five personality traits and what percentiles that he ranks against those. We looked at needs and we also looked at values. So out of that, you actually get quite a fair bit of insight into that particular person's personality. Now, what we're gonna do in this video, rather than just sticking and analyzing a JSON string, we're actually gonna throw it all into a data frame and we're going to visualize it using Seaborn and Matplotlib. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Alrighty, cool. So jumping back into our Jupyter Notebook. So we've already got our profile here. So if we take a look at our profile again, you can see that we've got all of that good stuff. And let's just check. So yeah, all right, cool. So we're all still good. So we've got it all in there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start playing around with uh, Seaborn. So I guess to get a little bit better visualization going on here. Let's just create a section and start segmenting this off. So we're going to call it visualizing the profile. And alrighty, let's start importing the stuff that we need. So we need to import pandas. So let's import pandas as PD. And then we're going to also need, what are we gonna need? We're gonna need matplotlib to work with Seaborn. So import matplotlib, so matplotlib, import pyplot as p of t. Sorry, I should have added seaborn into there as well. Seaborn import. So seaborn just makes our visualization just a little bit nicer, right? I'm going to import that as SNS. All right, cool. So that gives us the three key libraries that we're sort of going to need for this next step. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to just visualize the needs bit for now. So let's rip that out, throw it in a data frame so that Seaborn can accept it and let's start visualizing. So if you remember, our needs feature is stored inside of needs and you can see that here it's just stored in an array. So what we can actually do is extract that out and turn it into a data frame. So what we'll do is we'll actually go, we're going to use a comprehension for this. So let's go um, before need in profile.needs and we are going to return back a, another array. So sorry, we're gonna return a dictionary so we want need and we really just want to extract the need name. So we want, here we'd be wanting challenge and we'd want the percentile as well, just to see what, what we actually, or just to get back what we exactly want. So we're going to, and we're going to associate the name with the percentile. So what we'll do is we'll create a need name. So that will be our key. And then we're going to use or assign our percentile to that. Alrighty, so this should return need.name, need.percentile. Let's just check we've formatted that correctly. So need.name, need.percentile. That should be fine. Alrighty, that looks good. And let's just store that in a result variable. Let's take a look at that. Perfect. Alright, so we've got a dictionary. Perfect, that has all of our need results looking good. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to convert that into a data frame. So let's call data frame, pd.data frame, and we're going to use the from dict method to load this up. So we're going to pass through result, and we wanna create an index initially. So we're going to say orient equals index. Okay, so we've got our data frame. Now what we want to do is just rename our columns. 
uh, sorry, let's reset the index because we want to rename our columns. And we're going to say in place equals true. Perfect, so now uh, we've got no indexes. So what we'll then do is we'll rename our columns. And we're going to call it uh, need and percenter. Perfect. All right, so we've got our columns now. Now what we can do is we can actually visualize this with Seaborn. So let's do that. So let's create a bar plot and we're going to say y equals equals uh, the percentile and the x-axis equals need and the data equals the data frame. So, and then what we're going to do is run plot.show. Perfect, all right, not so perfect. So it looks like it's a little bit small. So let's change this figure size. And we'll say fig size equals, um, we want it wider, so let's try that. All righty, cool. So you can see immediately that's, a much better way to visualize the actual need or the, the trait profile. So we've got clearly a high degree of structure, uh, practicality, curiosity. I mean, so, yeah, that I'd probably associate that with Warren Buffett. Challenge, yeah, and practicality is a very practical investor, is value-based. But you can instantly see that you're actually getting some really interesting insights by, by doing this type of thing. Now, what we can do is we can, again, visualize some of the other traits. But what we're actually gonna do in the next video is we're gonna just create a quick function to loop through all of the traits or so that we can pass a particular trait and it'll, it'll visualize it for us simply automatically. Alrighty guys, that about wraps up this video. If you found it useful, be sure to like, share and subscribe. You're doing me a huge favor. Peace.